Yes, I am drinking iced coffee out of a RBA pint glass. Happy Monday. Living the good life full of good Welcome back to my channel, everyone. My name is JC, and today we are talking about 2018. 2017 wrecked me. It was probably one of the worst years of my life, which I am hearing it was quite everyone's worst year of their life. Everyone always talks about like new year, new me, but it, okay, please comment down below if you agree with me about this. My new year always starts for me, this is just for me, in September because that's when school started and that's when like you got a new planner and new this and new that and new classes and it's like the beginning of a new school year. I'm an adult now and so my new year starts in January. I don't usually make new year's resolutions because I just don't believe in it. I believe that you can like ch do change whenever you feel that's needed in your life and you can make goals like whenever you want. But for some reason, I just feel really obligated in my life at this time just to make them because I need goals and I need something to look forward to, so. I wanna divide my goals into three sections. Personal, work, and travel. Like everyone else in the world, staying fit is always a New Year's resolution. I've always been a fit person, but for some reason my motivation's been so down the past like month or two months, so, I'm gonna kick my butt to get back into the CrossFit gym. I love what I do. I just, I need to get back in the swing of things and get back to what I was lifting because I am disappointed in myself. I'm sorry, I said it. Moving on. Last year, I came across a minimalistic documentary on Netflix. I think it's just called Minimalism. And it changed the way I thought about how much we have and how much we need and items that, you know, we don't really need in our life, but we say or we always think we do, but the reality is like we just don't and also the caring about those items over quality time with people or just quality of life. I just wanna to stick to being more minimal. I find that I've always been the person to have like everything in its place, like I have what I need and that's it. I don't think I'm gonna go like full minimal, but I'm totally looking into like decluttering throughout the year and just getting rid of stuff that I don't need in my life and donating it. You're gonna realize throughout this video that I talk about a lot of expensive things as in to travel and like what I want to accomplish through like work and everything. The issue is I'm not that good about saving my money. When I want something, I will work for it, spend all the money kind of at once, like I'll save up for it and I'll spend it all. I basically want to manage my money better to make sure that I'm not spending too much of it, saving it and knowing what I actually need versus what I want. The next one to me is pretty funny. I want to learn how to skateboard or penny board or something along the lines of that because it's just a goal that I've always wanted to do since I was a little girl. I always wanted to be the cool girl on the skateboard, but I never got to that point in my life and my brother knows how to do it, so I'm gonna plan on doing that. I don't I just think I need to learn something active and I think that's something new and like funny that I could do because I'm terrified and I have the worst balance in the world and I'm extremely clumsy. Okay, this makes no sense why I'd be learning something if I have no coordination whatsoever in that realm, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna learn how to have better balance. <laughs> so moving on to my work goals, the first thing I wanna do is post more frequently. So two to three videos a week I think is my goal. I have plenty of time to do it now. I just need to have more motivation to get up and just do it and go out and edit. This is my passion and so I think that should be enough motivation for me in the morning. Yep, this is what I'm doing two to three times a week, hopefully. Something I've been working on since high school with painting or drawing or even videos is my JC style, which is hard because you're seeing all these creators around you do these really cool things and sometimes you want to recreate them. But like I talk about, you need to have your own style to develop who you are as a brand or as who you are in just your videos. And so I want to be able to really find my style in videos because I mean, I edit a certain way, but like I don't know if that's a style. But I just want to be able to find like my style, my text, like my fonts and my transitions and everything and just establish that and get that done with. But also be open to change as I develop as a creator as well. Next one's really ambitious, but I'm not afraid to shy away from this. I mean like, I, this is very unlike me to say this publicly. I'm kind of like, I'm not, I'm not embarrassed, but I'm nervous to say this. My goal for subscribers is 100,000. I've been doing this for about four years. I mean, I definitely had a growth spurt in videos when I did my British candy video. We're not gonna talk about that. <laughs> and then um, I took a break from YouTube and that kind of was a dumb financial mistake. So I do wanna hit 100,000. I have no idea how I'm gonna do that, but I'm gonna work my little booty off and that is my goal for this year, which is the biggest goal that I've ever set for myself. I would usually do like 5,000 a year, which is what I've been sticking to, but um, 100,000 is my goal this year, so help me get there. <laughs> like I said before, this is my passion and I wanna be able to do this full time. By full time, it's kind of what I'm doing right now, which I'm already setting myself up for this. 
It doesn't mean you don't have another job because the reality is I love to work. I love to move around and learn new things and go into the work field. I, I love it, like I love working. And so I wanna be able to do this, share the rest of my life and also work with other jobs, which I'm doing. So I'm kind of already starting this goal, but this to me is such a passion that I'm always working on and I'm very excited to make this full time. I don't have any plans to stop YouTube in the future. I definitely have a travel bug that runs through me. It, I got it from my mom. I, I just love the travel. I've always been very adventurous and I want to see new places in the world. And so next I have a few places that I want to go this year. The first one is Amsterdam. I have wanted to go to Amsterdam since I was about 12 years old. So it's been about seven years and I still haven't gone to Amsterdam and the flights actually from Charlotte to Amsterdam right now are like in the 250s, like $250, which is the same price. Actually, it's cheaper to fly to Amsterdam from here than it is to New York. Next, I wanna to go to Canada. I wanna to go to Toronto and I don't know, I, I just think Canada is really pretty and I've been like looking into YouTubers who live in Canada and seriously, if you live in Canada and you're a YouTuber, Hit me up, I'm trying to go to Canada sometime in the summer because your girl is from the north and I'm not handling that cold winter because no. Next place is really random, but Utah, Salt Lake City is something that I just like fell in love with a few months ago and for some reason it's just beautiful and I wanna go there and I just wanna like jump around in the field, not the field, grass. <laughs> I just want to go there and have a lot of fun. I think it's a really cool city. It has like a different vibe. It's city and then there's like mountains and then it's like cool. And I've never been on that side of the States before. So Utah. The last place on my list is Haiti, which is a mission trip that I am going on in Haiti in June. And this is by far probably the most excited I am about a trip that I've ever been on. Like I am so excited to serve and to go to Haiti and I'm actually fundraising for it right now, which I will have a video coming about that very soon. It's just something I'm really passionate about and I'm really excited for. Something new this year is I'm doing a phrase of the year which I am so down for doing because it's, I'm gonna hold myself accountable to this phrase. This is gonna be a hard one. So my phrase of the year is not if, but when. Basically saying don't put ifs where God says yes. And instead of being like, if I get this and if I can go there, I wanna say when I'm there and when I have that and when I can do that. So guys, let me know what you think of my 2018 resolutions or goals. I don't know how I feel, but 2018, let's do this by 2017. We're not going to miss you.